Well, music can spark a powerful connection, and in our armed forces, that connection can build important relationships with other countries as well. This morning, we are spotlighting some of the 30,000 people in the Navy who have ties to Florida. Yeah, we sure are. Fox Force Caitlin Knapp has a special series of reports all week long. And Caitlin, you got to spend some time with sailors who are really building unique bridges. I did a lot of time with all these sailors. And today you're going to be seeing how the power of music is building those relationships. There are 12 Navy bands scattered across the world where musicians come together to entertain audiences and heal them too. One. Behind every note, there's a passionate musician with an instrument in hand. You get to do quite a quite a lot for the Navy band. Musician second class James Brownell has been playing with the Navy band for 19 years. So now for the Navy, I've played trumpet, tuba, sousaphone, euphonium, trombone, and on occasion I have to sing as well. So. <laughs> A wide skill set that started right here in Florida. I was born in Miami. With ties to Southwest Florida. Grandparents are from Fort Myers, actually, so got to spend a lot of summers over there. Brownell played in his high school band. Now he's one of 45 Norfolk sailors who travels around the world. We're musical ambassadors and it opens up a lot of doors, not only for the Navy, but for our country. Music is the, the universal language. It works everywhere. Opening up doors for relationships and different types of music. You see the little eyes light up like, what is going on? What is this Western music? Give them the cowbell and let them play along and all that stuff. Brownell says the bonds created go beyond what you see. And it's also what you feel. The music's definitely one of the best healing tools on the planet. Healing. What Brownell says he knows Southwest Florida is going through right now. I wish we could get this band to go down there and play. Back home to play and see the people who inspire him. It's hard being away from family, but it's worth it doing this job. What would you play for your mom? Oh, man. Uh, I know it's, it's a weird one. Well, I'm a jazz guy, right? So. Yeah. Thanks for seeing this. I love and miss you guys. And uh, just trying to get home this summer. So I'll see you around. Yeah. Now, I obviously wasn't very good at playing the cowbell, but Amy, you haven't tried it yet. Ooh. So, Michael Hayslip, our executive producer, okay. of course he has a cowbell at of home. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? Yeah. So the way that you do it, there's actually a science to it. Like okay. the way Will Ferrell held it in SNL is how you hold it. Okay. So you hold it in this hand, and then when you hit it, this is from engineering, it's okay. usually a drumstick, and you hit it right at the top there. Okay. You're gonna do it. Okay, I'm you gonna got cowbell this. it up. Cowbell. I actually played Cow the piano, but I've never played the cowbell. Did you really? Yeah, yeah and Watch then you just. Then. Yeah. There we go. You have some rhythm. Now, did you there. request to play that in when you were there? Oh, absolutely. On my way there, I was like, I want to Will Ferrell this right now. <laughs> Yeah. And they were, and so I walked into the room, and they said, "Who wanted to play the cowbell?" We heard somebody did. My eyes, just like the kids, I lit up. I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is my moment. This is it." So, and it, was yeah. it everything you dreamed? It absolutely was. Yeah, yeah these sailors are absolutely incredible. Yeah. They have to play at least three instruments before they can even audition mm. for the Navy. You can tell how talented they are. My son plays the trombone, and it doesn't sound like that. It's, it's so hard. <laughs> Everybody is good at something and these sailors are great at playing so many different instruments. So a great time there. And then tomorrow you'll be seeing underwater training, going into a helicopter and just what can happen in a worst case scenario and how these sailors can survive what hopefully won't be that worst case scenario. Incredible access that you got with these sailors. I could not believe it. You know, Scripps just approached me with it and other stations, you know, around the country and said, hey, we want to give you access behind the scenes look of these base gates because rarely does the public get to go behind yeah. those base gates. It's usually, you know, maybe an air show or if you know somebody in the military. But having this opportunity, just an incredible experience. So I'm excited to share more with you guys on yes. that experience. We're so excited, too. I can't wait to see your story tomorrow. Great job. And Thanks. I wouldn't say that you're not great at the cowbell. I think you did an awesome job. That's going to be my side hustle. Just keep it away from Trent, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, listen, Caitlin, if you have another one of those, Amy's twins both need a cowbell at home. Now, that's what I'm thinking. Times two. Let's get you guys to check. Oh, you're going to hand me the cowbell? <laughs> yeah. Hey, we'll be back. We'll be back right after this. That's <laughs> so